Welcome to another episode of Down the Drain. In today's vlog, we'll be diving into the fascinating topic of recycled water. Using recycled water as a drinking source is an intriguing concept. A lot of our progress as a developed nation comes from successfully treating and supplying clean water and sanitation. After all, clean water and sanitation for all is one of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. It's estimated that improving sanitation could prevent up to 1.4 million deaths annually, while the key to effective sanitation is keeping society and clean water separate from wastewater. But recycled water seems to go directly against this concept, reintroducing what was once wastewater back into the drinking streams. So what is recycled water? Recycled water is wastewater that has been treated to a level that makes it safe for its intended use. Australia began its recycled water journey in 1995. So far, it's mostly used for things such as toilet flushing, watering gardens, washing cars and other outdoor purposes. The technology to treat wastewater to drinking standards is well established. However, the biggest challenge isn't the technology, it's gaining the public's acceptance and what, what is known as a social licence. This has been shown to be a big problem for Australia. Potable recycled water has been successfully implemented in other places such as Texas, the UK and Singapore. And speaking of Singapore, my mum happens to be there right now. Let's give her a call and ask her how the water tastes. Tastes great, just like Perth water. Thanks mum. The challenge now lies in improving public perception. Opposition to recycled wastewater typically falls into three different categories. Misinformation. It would taste bad. There's enough rain. It's not clean. It's dirty. These can typically be addressed through education and awareness. Conspiracy. The government's trying to poison us. It's about controlling us. They just want to make money. These concerns generally stem from larger issues such as the distrust of government and large organisations. Changing these perceptions can be quite challenging. Emotion. It's not fair on the children. Yuck. It's unnatural. I can't serve that to my family. While difficult, engaging with the community, addressing any fears and respecting their culture and making their concerns heard can make a big difference in the perception of in the perception of recycled water. It's time to shift our perspective on recycled water. Let's overcome the misconceptions and embrace a sustainable future for our water. Thank you for watching another episode of Down the Drain. Thank <laughs> you.